everyone. It's Dr. Michael Tazan Parsons, founder of the Natural Path Health Center and creator of Detox Done Right. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for all of the questions that you're asking. I just can tell that you're really digging deep and enjoying all of the training that you're getting and it's not ending yet. We've got a lot more to cover. So just thank you and keep those questions coming because I am answering those personally. So picture this. You wake up in the morning and you have time to cook breakfast. I said the word cook. You're scrambling some eggs. Maybe you're making a beautiful omelet with some spinach and you leisurely eat that meal. Then you're off to work. Maybe you send the kids off to school and you have a nice relaxing lunch. Maybe a chicken salad with some spring water or maybe some green tea. You sail through your day, you get home, and you're able to prepare a home-cooked meal for your family. Not only are you preparing it, everyone loves it because it tastes amazing. But maybe this is more like what your day entails. You wake up late, now you're ticked off and grumpy, and you're all frazzled, scurrying around because you woke up late. You say, ah, forget breakfast. I'll just drink some coffee. Maybe I'll throw some of that fancy sweetened creamer in because it tastes good. Send the kids off. Maybe they get the Lunchables because you're in a hurry. And time for lunch. Everyone wants to go to Mexican food. Ah, what the heck? You have the chips, the salsa, the guacamole, all the cheese. Now you feel full. Dinner time, you're running around because you've got a long to-do list because you didn't get it all done the day before and you end up going through a fast food restaurant, dashboard dining. Does that sound like you? Well, let me tell you, if that sounds like you, or if you were like me, where I ate a lot of processed, icky, I thought it was yummy at the time, food, a lot of sweet sugar, Pop-Tarts, Twinkies, cupcakes, Carnation Instant Breakfast Drink, Malto Meal, Chocolate Coke, I love that. But over time, those types of foods really cause me to be out of balance. Why is that? This is what we're going to talk about today. We've mentioned before, detox is a multiple step process. We've got phase one and phase two, and then there's this danger zone. Well, let me tell you, when you're not eating foods that actually feed and replenish the tools that are needed to run that detox factory, guess what? factory goes on strike. You're going offline. You are not going to be able to process and package up those things that the body no longer can use to pee, poop, sweat, or breathe out those things. Yes, I said poop again. Check this out. The majority of our immune system is not in our throat. It's not in our head. It's in and around our intestines. And guess what? 50% of the detox machinery is around the intestines too. So when we're eating packaged processed foods that don't have all the nutrients in it that we need, those intestines say, Bleh! I'm not working right. I'm going to make you constipated or I'm really ticked off and I'm going to give you diarrhea at the most inopportune time. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking at detoxification, it is a food-driven process. Phase one is the first step. So your body has digested, or you have made your hormones, you've breathed in a chemical from the air, whatever the source is. Now your body has to take that stuff that's left over and turn it into something that it can get out of the body. So phase one is something that needs a lot of different B vitamins. Good old-fashioned B vitamins, things like riboflavin, niacin, B6. These are things that are found in almonds, peppers, mushrooms, asparagus, things that we're supposed to be eating on a daily basis. But another area of phase one are things that I refer to as the girls. These are branched-chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Guess where they come from? Protein. So for you meal skippers who are skipping meals or saying, well, gee, too much protein is a bad thing, you are cutting your detoxification capabilities off or significantly reducing their ability to get rid of these things. So phase one is all about turning this 
toxin, this thing that we can't eliminate, and start to turn it into something that we can eliminate. So we have phase one, then it needs to be shuttled over to phase two. Phase two is a lot more complicated. There's a lot more stuff going on, and there's actually six different pathways that go through and eliminate these things that phase one has kind of prepped for the pee, poop, sweat, or exhalation of these toxins. So this is where eating sulfur-rich foods come into play. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, those kinds of things. Or maybe eating fish because we need some glutamine. Glutamine is one of those amino acids that should be plentiful in the foods, but folks, when you're not eating food, you ain't getting it and you can't make it. That's a big problem, and glutamine's a big deal, not only to your detoxification system, but also your intestines. The intestines need it too, and you aren't getting it in your instant breakfast drink. Sorry. So, phase two has a lot of stuff that has to be there. Those six pathways need protein, chicken, lamb, fish, beef. You can get some protein from lentils, not a lot because there's more carbohydrates with that. So when you are not eating well or you're skipping meals, and it doesn't matter if you just only skip one a day, we're supposed to eat at least three with snacks if we need them. And I'm not talking about toaster strudels, I'm talking about apple with nut butter, some healthy kind of snack. We end up having an inability to get rid of these toxins. So remember, if we can't get rid of them, they get stored in our body fat, and it's never where we want it. We can't direct it to the girls, these girls. We can't direct it maybe more wherever. It's going to go right here where it annoys us all, men and women alike. Now, here's the thing. If you don't have enough of those nutrients to run phase one, or you get phase one going and it makes that new molecule, but phase two's backed up, because you've been offline, you've been not feeding your body correctly, guess what? Those new molecules that are being created go into the danger zone. Danger, and I'm saying that word with all seriousness because when these molecules get stuck in that danger zone, they're actually more harmful to you. They are more reactive in the body because there's been several studies done linking these danger intermediate molecules direct link to female-based cancers. Yeah, cancer. So we don't want to get these molecules stuck in that danger zone. And for that danger zone, for things to be shuttled on into phase two, we need a lot of antioxidants. We need minerals. There are things that we're supposed to, once again, be getting from our diet. Food first, folks not fake food or faux food, real food. So there's this big myth that you're getting away with it. That's a myth. That's your psychosis trying to say, I can do without food because I'm not really human. But we are human and I understand because I was one of those faux eaters. In fact, I think I was the queen. I, I have retired my tiara because I wanted to get healthy and I wanted to drop the fat and I needed to get my brain back. So, number one challenge for you is to look at the food you're eating. Stop eating from foods that come from a box, a bag, or a can because those foods have been processed and all of those amazing, precious nutrients that we need have been removed. They throw a few token back just to make it look good on the label but food that's been processed is never as good as the way it comes in nature. So look at your foods, box, bag, or can, which includes McDonald's and Taco Bell. Those comes in the plastic, more dangerous for you containers because you're eating that stuff too. But you want to start to exit those foods out of your diet, not just for a day, not for a week, but really on a permanent basis. And then make sure you take the time to get 
are foods to focus on lists so you know specifically the foods that contain the exact nutrients that your body needs to crank up that detox factory, get it back online so you can eliminate those toxins the way you were intended to. Your intestines, your liver, your kidneys, every cell in your body will thank you for that. And it thanks you in the form of getting you starting to feel better. So in the meantime, you've got some homework to do. This is probably the hardest thing I'm going to ask you to do. Change and transition out of those unhealthy foods. Get back on track. Grab your list so you know exactly what to focus on because I've cut down a lot of the time that you need to put into trying to figure this all out. Already did it for you. And just remember that I'm trying to help us all stay healthy in a very toxic world. Dr. Parsons signing off.